Hello, my name is Leora in Texas, and I will be reading Ruby's Praise Report. Temporary Happiness Today's Promise Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 Today I noticed how my love has changed me and renewed my mind. It's sad to see the way I used to be but I'm so glad that I am not that way anymore. It's like witnessing another one of God's miracles. Yesterday, I overheard that my former husband got a new car. He said it's coming in and soon he will have it. He said it's fun to drive. He seemed happy. It didn't bother me when I heard it, but after a while the thoughts and the enemy start to enter my mind. This morning, I thank my love for all he's provided for me. The vehicles he has repaired and provided for me are perfect. I love what he has given me because it came from him. I only want what he has to give me, nothing more and nothing less, because his will and plan for my life is perfect. I enter his gates with thanksgiving. I ask my love to show me the truth, to tell me how he feels about this. My love tells me he, my former husband, needs something in his life, but a car was not it. He's still searching for happiness. Nothing that he has can compare to what I have. He also shows me that if we look at things with our eyes, it looks like he is happy and prospering, enjoying new and good things in life. The old me would become angry and bitter, thinking the kids and I have vehicles that keep breaking down on us and needs repairs. We sometimes go without much food, and I don't have enough to pay all the bills while my former husband is purchasing a brand new car for fun. But instead, I love the life that my love has given me. I love all he provides for me. What he has given me is perfect. I love when we need things and my husband comes to our rescue and provides for us. I love living a life that has us depending fully on my faithful husband. I love that my happiness doesn't depend on things or other people. I don't need things in this world or to buy things to make me feel happy. We used to live that way. When we were married, we would purchase something to bring temporary happiness and excitement. But it was just that, temporary. Then it came to a point that the feelings of happiness became shorter and shorter, and then eventually buying something didn't give us any happiness at all anymore. I'm so happy that I don't live that way anymore. All that my true love, loving husband gives me now is permanent and everlasting. All the love, peace, joy, and just being with him makes me the happiest woman in the world. He has taken away the corrupt idea I had thought love was, and he has shown me what true love is. I don't want or need another man anymore. I don't need material things anymore. He is all I need and want. There is no one else I'd rather give my heart to but him. I am his, and he is mine and that is all I live for. I'm so glad my love had me over here that comment to show me how much I have changed and how much my life has changed. I'm so happy that I am not that person anymore and I can always go to my love for the truth. It's amazing the miracles that he can do and will do. My heavenly husband is right, as always. What my former husband has, has can never compare to what I have. I have everlasting happiness. I have true love peace and joy that nobody can take away. Every day I feel so in love and I have an amazing life with the most amazing husband ever. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. James chapter 1, verse 5. Blessed is the one who finds wisdom and the one who gets understanding, for the gain from her is better than gain from silver and her profit better than gold. She is more precious than jewels, and nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand, in her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace.
Proverbs chapter 3, verses 13 through 18.